Hey guys, Troy, DIY Home and Auto. Uh, you've all seen those cars cruising down the road with their headliners just tattered and torn and shredded and blowing in the wind. Yeah, you've seen them. Well, that's not going to be my truck. Today I'm going to show you how I repair my headliner. Um, it's starting to hang down and sag. Hopefully the lighting is good enough that you can see that. But, um, it's tearing away. Let's get it fixed. So what we're going to use for this is Loctite spray adhesive, high performance, middleweight bonding. Um, it's got a, it says right there, high initial tack. Works on wood, metal, uh, foam, fabric, and those are the things we're dealing with here is foam and fabric. So Loctite spray adhesive, I'll put a link down below where you can pick some of this up. And we got to mask this off because this is a spray. I don't want it getting all over the windshield. I don't need it on my column. I don't want it to get where I don't need it. So um, mask all this off and then we'll get after it. Okay, so here's what you're going to need to pull this off yourself uh, to reattach your headliner. Loctite spray adhesive, we already talked about that. You're going to need that, obviously. Blue painter's tape has low tack so that you can mask off the areas you don't want it to overspray onto. Uh, this is called tape and drape. I'll put links down below to all of this stuff as well. So it's got painter's tape attached to one end and then it's plastic sheeting. Uh, you'll see me putting that on so you'll kind of see how that works. Scissors to cut that to the right lengths that you need. And then a ginormous spoon. Why would we need a spoon? Well, the smooth edge on the back and the tapered curve, I'm going to use that to press down and get into all the little grooves that I need it to be in. It'll slide nice and easy. Uh, the tapered edge won't catch on the edge, won't give me... Well, it'll work. It'll work great. So, let's use our spoon and get after it. All right, I have my Loctite, I have my safety goggles, safety first, always be smart, and my big spoon. Let's do this. Shook the can up real good. Um, I'm gonna apply a, a decent coat to hopefully get on both edges, the fabric and the, the lid, the roof. Ooh, fogging up. And, it says to let it dry for about a minute before you actually press the two pieces together. So uh, it's going to be important for me to get clear back into the areas that are starting, like as far back as I can, basically. I want to get good coverage to make sure it sticks. So, um, but let's do this. Test spray. Okay, not so bad. All right, let that dry for a minute. All right, it's been about a minute. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get this to attach. Ooh, so far so good.
All right, let's let that dry real good. So far, so good. All right, we're basically done here. Just show you up close. Uh, I didn't do the greatest job as far as lining it up to the edge. It's kind of hard to see back up in there, but my goal was to get it to attach itself back on there so it would stop falling down and getting worse. So I achieved my goal. Um, nobody even noticed that it was falling down except for me. So the odds of somebody seeing that little imperfection isn't all that great. So um, to me, this is successful repair. Um, this is Troy, DIY Home and Auto with another successful project, do it yourself. You guys can figure this stuff out as well. I hope that something I used here would help you out. Uh, let's get those headliners back reattached. Use the links down below. Be sure and give me a like, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe so you don't miss uh, more of my tips and tricks. Thanks guys.